let's talk about domain and range for functions and non-functions. So as we see, we have a non-function. This is a circle graph. So we're going to be talking about how to write the interval notation for these. So we're going to do the inequality statement. We're also going to do that interval statement. And we're going to go ahead and look at what we've got. So the domain values are our x values. So as you can see, if I look really closely to our graph, our x values go all the way from negative 6 all the way over here to a positive 6 right here. So everything in between is covered because as they go up here, this is getting closer to 0, and then it goes farther away from 0 until we get to 6. So when we write something like that, and that goes for both up and down, so both the bottom and the top of this, so we're going to write our statement for our domain with some curly brackets around it, and we're going to say that x such that, that's what that means, that line right here, is a the lowest number, which is negative 6. So we're going to put negative 6 first. And now because it is inclusive of that negative 6, we're going to do a line underneath the inequality statement. We're going to put x because we're talking about the domain, so this is x. And then it goes up to and including that positive 6. So that's how we would write the inequality statement, and then we want to go to do our interval notation. We are going to say the same thing, so we'll do the little curly brackets x such that, and then we're going to put because these are both inclusive, we use hard brackets on those numbers. We do the lower number first, the first number that we wrote, so that's a negative six, comma, and then the upper number, which is a six. And again, because there are lines underneath both of these. We use hard brackets on these, and then we just fill in that part. Now, when we're going ahead and doing the range for this, we're going to look at the y values for this. So again, same thing. It's a negative 6. It starts at the lowest point. Our highest point is also a positive 6. So we're going to write negative 6. It does equal, it can equal negative 6. Because we're talking about range, we're doing y values in the middle. And it goes up to and includes the positive 6 as well. And then when we are doing our interval notation, we're just going to do close bracket at negative 6 because, again, it is equal to that. And it's also equal to the positive 6. So we're going to do a hard bracket on that side. And we've already determined this is not a function in the other videos. And if you want more videos like these, you can find them on my YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at E1Algebra. All these are located in the function notation portion of my playlist. Don't forget to like, share, follow me for more. Save it for later and I'll see you soon.